Good morning, Psychic Medium Danielle Garcia with your energy forecast for the week. Today is February 8th, 2021. How are you all doing? Did you survive the amazing, intense Schumann resonance spike over the weekend? Saturday, we got to a vibration of 400, which was crazy. Um, so many different people were reporting to me with migraines, sleep disturbances, swelling, um, body aches, crabbiness, bitchiness, um, crying, just crying, 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 uh, you know, all throughout the day. So if you were affected, this could possibly be why. It's very interesting how the Schumann resonance has had uh, below normal readings. And after it's below normal readings, it will have this these tremendous spikes. And that seems to be the pattern over the last uh, six, eight weeks or so. So Mama Earth is definitely going through her growing pains and changing things up to say the least. It does feel like lots of stuff is shifting in the universe. And we'll just have to wait and see how all of that shakes out. This week, big, big energies are moving in. Dun, dun, dun. Are you ready? Um, I hope so, because empaths and sensitives will have quite an intense emotional week. I feel like I say that every week, but <laughs> maybe every week is intense and emotional for empaths and sensitives, or it could just be me. Who knows? Um, Schumann is at 59 today, so thumbs up. Still vibing higher than normal, but at least it's not 400, right? So this week, the age of Aquarius, we have five different planetary, five, five different planetary uh, bodies under the age of Aquarius today, right now. And those are um, Mercury, which is in retrograde. Mercury's attributes are communication and the throat chakra. Those are just some of the attributes of Mercury. Some attributes about the sun is the divine masculine, it's cosmic power, it's life force energy, it's light. Uh, Venus, love, relationships, balance and harmony. Jupiter, justice, abundance and optimism. And Saturn, restriction, unrevealed power and domination. So imagine all of those different attributes all of those different planets under the energy and frequency of Aquarius. Now, what does Aquarius mean? Aquarius, when I think about Aquarius energy, I do think about that hippie vibe. I do think about the song in hair, <laughs> dawning of Aquarius, anyone? Um, you know, it's peace, love, it's balance, it's unity, but it's also, um, respecting our own individuality as well as respecting the collective consciousness its creativity its flow its freedom its expression so think of all of those different things applying to those five planetary bodies that's a lot a lot of energy i mean um freedom and expression mercury and retro i'm not sure i even want to know what that looks like <laughs> maybe it's easier maybe it's not easier i guess we'll just have to wait and see how the energy flows now wednesday the moon moves under aquarius as well so as the move as the moon is in aquarius on wednesday um, it creates what's called an Aquarius stellium, meaning that there are six planets now under Aquarius, under one, um, one energy. And this hasn't happened since 1962. That's a lot of energy. That's a lot of shifting. Those children that are born during this week are going to be set with this amazing Aquarian energy of freedom, expression, creativity. Look for a lot of artists. Look for a lot of free thinkers. Look for a lot of powerful leaders to be born this week. 
something just to file in the back of your mind. So Wednesday promises to be high vibe. It promises to, to be it promises to be a lot of shifting and a lot of realization. You may find yourself asking questions about where you are on your spiritual path. You may find yourself doing a life review. You may find yourself asking questions about your career or wanting to make sudden career changes. If and or when you get to that point where you're doing a life review, you know, how, how far have I gotten along and what I wanted to be at in my current state of life? What have I succeeded in? What have I not succeeded in? This isn't supposed to be about a time for being self-critical. It's taking an open and truthful look at life to see where you're at. What can you improve upon? What worked? What didn't work? What will you accept? What will you no longer accept? Accept. Where can you compromise? What are your absolute make it's and break it's that you will just not move your feet on? Um, so think about that if you get into that headspace of looking back. It's not about going into the past and seeing all the crap that you've done and what a horrible person you are, because that's really, really not helpful. This is about freedom. This is about embracing the good parts of yourself. Sometimes with embracing those good parts of ourselves, we look at some of the things that weren't so great so we can learn from them, let them go, or maybe we need to hold on to them a little bit longer because we haven't quite learned the lesson of what we were supposed to learn. So have that perspective if you go to that space of life review this week. Remember, it's not about self-criticism. It's about reflection and it's about re-evaluating. The moon, as it moves into Aquarius, um, let's think about some of the moon's different attributes. Well, it's the divine feminine. It's about the inner world. It's about hidden emotions. And it's also about shadow self. You know, sun represents our outer world, how we portray ourselves to the rest of humanity around us. It's our personality. It's our ego. And it's also how we shine and reflect our light. Well, Wednesday, we're going to have sun and moon under Aquarius. Whew, okay, so that can create some confliction, or it could create an opportunity to deep dive into more self-realization and more healing, more release, and more of the good stuff. It doesn't always have, just, just because something is coming forward that could show different parts of us that are shadow does not necessarily mean that that's a bad thing. It's an opportunity to learn. It's an opportunity to grow. It's an opportunity to heal. So think of it in that perspective as these things come forward. Um, because of this confliction energy, and I shouldn't really say confliction, because of the opposition, you want to use the word opposition, okay, because of the opposition of energies of sun and moon under Aquarius, you might find yourself being triggered. You might find yourself being emotional. Imagine that, being a sensitive and an empath and being emotional and being triggered by stuff going on with the planets. What a concept. Um, <laughs> so you might find yourself being triggered. This is your opportunity to take a look and see what is really the reason why I'm acting that way. It's not because the dog's barking. It's not because somebody cut me off in traffic. Like take a deeper dive into that. Why am I reacting this way? Now I know being a Scorpio, I know it's not always so easy when we're, when I am emotional to say, Hey, Danielle, why don't you take a step back and evaluate those emotions? Yeah. Not always so easy. But we can train ourselves to do that, right? Even if it's something where you count to 10, even if it's something that you excuse yourself from the room or, you know, pretend you have a phone call just to get out of whatever the confrontation is. So you can take a step back, you can gather your thoughts, you can gather your emotions and figure out why you're act, reacting this way. This is a great opportunity to discover those core issues. It's as if there's a big doorway that opens um, Wednesday. 
when moon and sun go under Aquarius and this energy and connection is created. Thursday, the new moon comes along and this brings forward amazing energy for manifestation. Um, it's a great time to plant seeds of intentions of what you do want in your life. And it's also a good time to take a look at shadow and think of releasing some of those little bits of ourselves that haven't been working out so well. I will be posting a new moon ritual later on that's one of my favorites. So look for that coming up. Um, this week also is a good opportunity for more psychic insight, more intense dreams. Don't be surprised if premonitions come forward this week. Don't be surprised if loved ones from the other side decide to visit this week. Um, it's also this doorway of energy that's opening. Um, it's also uh, very possible for people to time jump, meaning going into an altered state of reality. Um, Sometimes this can happen in our dream state. Sometimes this can happen even when you're watching a movie and it triggers something that you feel connected to as a soul. And you'll go back into that emotion. You'll go back into that energy, whether it's for an instance or whether it's for, you know, minutes, hours, whatever. Um, many people are familiar with time jumping. They might call it something else. And it's almost like deja vu, but incredibly... Um, more powerful than that. So don't be surprised if there's more instances of that. If you do experience, I highly advise that you call all of your energy back. You know, it's not, it's not a healthy energetic practice to have strands of energy of ours connected to different places in time or different realities, because that in itself can be very exhausting. Um, one more thing that they want me to talk about, because Mercury is in retrograde this week and because lots of intensive emotional energy is coming in, make sure before you make any life altering decisions that you do some grounding work before. This is not the time to make knee jerk reactions. This is the time to think things through. These, this is the time to look at contracts exclusively. This is the time to weigh the, the odds. What's good about this decision? What's not so good about this decision? And to take your time. Patience, patience, patience is one of your best friends this week. I pulled some cards before we started this time. And I pulled from the heart and soul deck. I love these cards. The deck is incredibly beautiful as well as it's just wonderful. It's Valentine's Day week. So um, these are all shaped like hearts. So the cards that I pulled, the first one is this beautiful, beautiful woman. I find it interesting this card comes forward first, right? So she's actually depicted as an angel. There's a lot of opening around her heart chakra. She's in the sun's glow. Isn't it interesting? Moon, divine feminine, uh, in the opposition of sun. How amazing. This is the first card that comes through. Um, the cards all have phrases on them. So I thought that this was a nice little difference to do this week. Something will be revealed in a dream or through someone you trust. The information sheds light on something that has remained hidden from you for some time. Suddenly the missing piece of the puzzle appears and you are able to see the bigger picture. Great information for this week. This card, I really enjoy how the energy flows in it. And it once again does remind me of, of sunshine with all this beautiful light. This card signifies expansion and the accomplishment and success that come as a result of doing what you love or something that has great meaning for you. You are creating something of lasting value that will be enjoyed by others for years to come. A strong sense of teamwork and fulfillment abound. Great card for those of us who will be evaluating our career choices this week. And this card, so amazing, so much beautiful light and energy coming from this card. It's a wonderful conclusion card. And before you ask, why did I pull the cards beforehand? Well, I actually did another recording of the energy forecast that thank you Mercury Retrograde 
the uh, audio did not work out. So I actually pulled these cards for the first time that I recorded and they were so wonderful and so beautiful. I did not want to pull cards again. Um, the message on this card. Um, that you are dearly loved is an eternal truth for in the grand cosmic scheme of things, only love is real and only love will remain forever within our hearts. Love does not judge you. It is just un it just unconditionally loves you. It is the true wisdom of consciousness. Seek shelter in love and you shall hear the song of spirit and be guided by its sacred sound. What a beautiful, beautiful conclusion card for the energy forecast and for this week. I hope you guys all have a safe, healthy, blessed week. Stay hydrated, stay ground, and stay happy.